could see the pixels and the squares. <laughs> the Nothing Phone is our favorite budget Android phone, but when we got it, it did really poorly in our camera comparison. But now that it's been a while and it's gotten software updates, it should be a lot better. Now, people say that the Pixel 6a is the best budget camera phone for the money. That was also updated. And we also have the iPhone 14. So we're doing another showdown to see how they compare. Yep, so Max went out and took a bunch of photos with all three of these phones. He set them up in this timeline and I'm gonna be seeing them for the first time and voting which is which, which is better. So grab a piece of paper and pen if you wanna join along with me. Here is the first shot. It is a selfie that is backlit. What do you think? All right, this one is definitely tough. Um, I kind of like the one on the left. However, I'm seeing a little bit of softness and a lot of warmth. I'm gonna choose the one on the right. I really like the detail and the colors balance everything. I'm going with that one. That one is Ooh. the iPhone 14. Okay. Last time we tested the 13, this one has the same camera as the 14 Pro. So this is a zoom shot right here. Okay, instantly the one in the center just looks terrible. Between the left and right, they're both pretty good, but it looks like the one on the left is a little bit blown out and I'm seeing more kind of detail, less sharpening. I'm going with the right. And that Pixel. is the Pixel and the okay. Nothing Phone didn't oh. do so hot. Now I also want to let you no guys contrast. know that I looked at all the photos, rated them from mm -hmm. one, if it's unusable, to five, shockingly good. Mm -hmm. I'll reveal my results at the end. Here we have another zoom shot. Oh my goodness, what in the world? Potato <laughs> camera, okay, never mind. So not the left, it's a close one, but I am seeing more detail in the center, especially in the texture here and all these areas, uh, jeans, everything, yep. So center? Yep. Oh, nothing. That is Hey, the there you go. Nothing. Nice. I do not know what happened with the Pixel on that one. Ouch. This is zoomed in That's quite bad. a bit. The crazy thing is the Pixel destroyed the iPhone 13 and zoomed last time. Whoa. This is a portrait shot. That is really cool. And I'm amazed at the level of detail here. Look at all the texture, every single bit. That's interesting. I really like this left one. I That is the iPhone. Wow, that looks good. Here we have a portrait shot. There's a lot of differences that I was forced into doing. <laughs> okay, so right away on the left, I really dislike how strong the blur is behind it. It just looks really messy. I don't like it. The one on the right, it's not even doing portrait. So it's gotta be the one in the center, especially since you have this in the foreground, it looks really nice. I like the center. You pick pixel. the pixel. I thought you might pick that one, uh, but nice. I wanna take a photo of this and the pixel forces you to crop when you're doing portraits, I'm okay, still so annoyed by that. So I literally physically could not get the shot that the other ones could and the iPhone was too far, I couldn't do it. Here we have an indoor tough lighting portrait shot. I don't like the one in the center because it's the shadows are really, really dark and crushed. The one on the right looks really faded. So I'm going with the left. I like the combination of everything the best. Nice balance and that is an iPhone. Here we have an ultra wide shot. I thought this building looked really cool but I couldn't stand on the street to take the picture, so it had to be the ultra wide. I think overall, in terms of how clean the photo is, I'm gonna go with the right. I like that one, it just overall looks good. That is Ooh, the iPhone. iPhone. Here we have a portrait shot where you have a lot of depth. All right, right away, I don't like the right one because there's no way this is blurred out right above her. Like these two, it's sharp, so that fails instantly. The one on the left looks amazing, just every part about it looks awesome. That Ooh, is the iPhone. the iPhone. I will say I was surprised, other than the loss of contrast here, uh -huh. how close the nothing is to yeah. the iPhone before it did it's terrible. Pretty good. Here we have a crazy dynamic range shot. Instantly the right. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, look at that. It's the only one that has the actual sunset colors and it's not as blown out. Wow. Yeah, and more sharp. And that is the oh, iPhone. iPhone. The yeah. iPhone used to, the 13 sucked wow, with dynamic good. range. That's really good. Compared to the Pixel. All right, we got a portrait shot, a really wide one here with a lot of background. All right, so this one fails because look, yeah. random <laughs> portions aren't blurred at all. Instant fail. I think I'm gonna go with the one on the right. Even though her jacket is a little bit dark, I don't like how faded and brought up everything is here as much. I kind of like the one on the right the best. And oh, you chose the again. iPhone. Here's where close. Angelica would probably disagree. Oh, she Too bad we don't have her today. <laughs> it just looks really flat in this one, yeah. Oh! You could see the the pixels and the squares. <laughs> this this eight bit man. Oh, that's terrible. So as you could tell, oh this is an ultra zoom. None of these okay. actually have telephoto cameras, so they have wow. to digitally zoom in okay. on yep. 
The main one. The right one, I mean, by far, easily you can tell it's the best. Pixel. That is wow. the Pixel. What did the Nothing one? Now, the Nothing phone is the only one that lets you zoom no in way. 20 times. Wow. When you're taking a photo, I'll have Angelica show the originals. The Pixel zooms in seven. Apple limits you to only five times. Wow. But cropping it these after, better. just like you would if you took a photo, it turns out better than the 20 times wow. zoom on the Nothing. Now, here is our first video. All right, I already know the winner. <laughs> Okay, uh, there's no stabilization in the center for whatever reason, it's not working at all. The left one works decently, however, it is so overexposed and flat, the contrast is gone, so the one on the right is by far the winner. And the one on the right Ooh, pixel. is the Pixel. Wow, that's good. Now, the Pixel that's really did good. 1080p only. Mm -hmm. The Nothing and the iPhone could both do 4K. Ooh. That might be why the Nothing had no stabilization, yeah. but I'm surprised pixels were meant to be bad at video. But that looks, looks good. good. Yeah. Here is a selfie. Okay, so the one in the center is way too underexposed. I really like the one on the left. I feel like the right is too flat in terms of the kind of highlights and stuff. And iPhone. you got the iPhone. I'm surprised okay. how all of them did really good on the cutouts. We put our hoods on on purpose. Yeah. Here we have a macro shot. Ooh, Only okay. one of these smartphones has a dedicated macro mode, but it doesn't actually zoom in that much because the macro camera I got the closest to and the others I had to crop. So between the left and the right, it is incredibly close, but I'm gonna go with the right. The right one yep. is the Pixel. Pixel. The Nothing phone looks the worst, it's, even though it's yeah. the only one where I had a it's macro really mode dark and kind of blurry, yeah. Oh, no way. What in the world happened I had here? to convince my wife to let me use this photo. Wow. Because she's like, no, I don't want that posted online. <laughs> this looks like a, a light gray jacket or coat. And her face looks not. like she's crazy. The, the How could the phone there. think that this fur is like gray? I don't know, software, because you have white yeah. in the background, snow, and a black jacket. So definitely not the left. The center absolutely destroys it because you could see the highlight roll off and skin tones in her it's face. It's not flat like this, this is one. all flat. The, Ooh, the iPhone, iPhone nailed. Jeez, Pixel? The photo, I don't know what the it Pixel is tripping. did. It is tripping. The nothing's just slightly worse, but. Yep. And we have another video. This time, you have the regular camera, 4K 30 on all of them. Let's take a look. Okay. Now I'm seeing in the center some weird uh, focus hunting and really drastic changes in exposure. I don't like that. I think I'm gonna go with the one on the right, even though it's really close between the left and right. I think I like the right better. You voted Ooh, for iPhone. the iPhone, but it's surprising how close yeah. the Pixel is. I am shocked. The iPhone's way more expensive. Here we have Whoa. an ultra wide. All and right. tough lighting. Yeah, I'm seeing some issues already. Instantly, I don't like the left because it's soft, it's flat, the hat's blown out. The center's okay, but the one on the right has noticeably more sharpness and detail everywhere. I like it. The iPhone. iPhone, yeah, and it actually nailed the white balance too. Here we have a portrait shot with so many layers of depth. The one on the left, instantly. Oh my goodness, look at how nice and sharp the contrast everything looks. The, the iPhone. iPhone. Once again, again, the white balance too. Really good. This is a tough shot. We have warm indoor Whoa. lighting. We have the city behind it. Okay, so the one on the right is underexposed. It fails instantly. I don't like it. Uh, between the left and the middle is pretty close, but if you look like at the texture of this chair, so sharp and detailed here. It looks really good. I iPhone. Phone. I would have actually again. voted for the nothing. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. But we have this shot. Now, we're shooting through glass. It was okay. directly behind Noah. I'm gonna go with the center because I don't I don't like how this is cool on the right. It's way too cool. Bad job on the white balance. The one in the center just looks nice and contrasty detailed compared to this kind of faded look. So, center. That is iPhone. the iPhone. I don't know how it magically gets rid of the reflections mm -hmm. and minimizes it. Yeah, it's Some kind of nice software magic. It's nice. Here we have some tough lighting indoors. Wow, the one on the left looks just on a whole nother level better than the other two. All the brights just stand out, everything's sharp. The text of that sign. That one is the, the iPhone. iPhone. I think it's diffusion working. Wow. And the pixel good. over here, uh -huh. if you guys may have noticed these dark lines. Oh, what is Every that? time I would take a photo, 
in this kind of lighting that's stuck in the shot. Oh, it's the it's it, the LEDs. It's right? that lighting okay. and it mess with it. Wow. So it was really annoying. Now we're getting into night mode here. I'm really curious if the pixel is gonna start destroying everything. All right, so between the left and the right, it's really close. The one in the center, you can just see so much motion blur and weirdness, it definitely gets disqualified. But I do like the highlights on the left. I think it does the best with the, the highlights. Left is pixel. the pixel. Really good. Oh. What do you think there? Wow. So it looks <laughs> like there's no night mode here. As far there as is. I can tell. There is? There is night mode. There is night mode. Okay. This is crazy. Even though the one on the left is kind of brought up higher, I mean, it might be just too bright? I don't know. But the one on the right is just so soft. All the details gone. So I'm choosing the left. Yeah. This was pitch black. Yeah. Wow. This was pitch way darker yeah. than what you see in the it's center. Be the left. And that Good is phone. the iPhone. I was yep. shocked when I saw this on the computer. Here's another oh, shot. Oh, that's cool. Very dark. Nice. Our kids after jujitsu. Dude, this reminds me of the three ninjas. I told them about yeah. three ninjas right before that. Dude, you gotta watch <laughs> that with them. Okay, the one on the left by far, because you could tell this is kind of dark, no detail. This is all smudged, motion blur detail. This is by far the most sharp. Yeah. The iPhone the once iPhone. again. Man, we're gonna see what happens here. Next shot. Oh, okay, this is, oh my goodness, what the heck. Okay, that's out of there. All of these had night mode. Oh, this is portrait. It is portrait. Oh, that looks good. It is a portrait and night mode shot. Not bad. And I think the detail is also, yeah, I'm choosing the one in the center. The right one has a lot of little oh, noise and artifacts. stuff. Yeah. And portrait mode did not work. That's you the chose pixel. the pixel. That's good. The iPhone, it said too dark. Oh, but nothing okay. took the picture with portrait mode, oh but it goodness. was too dark. That's bad. Here is the next one. Mixed lighting here. Oh, the one on the left. Wow, that looks really, really good. Detail everywhere. The colors, the skin tones, roll off everything, and the jacket looks natural, where you can see artifacts, noise. This one at least. And the colors didn't look anywhere yeah, near that. It's like blue. The iPhone it's took the iPhone. another one. It was bright enough for portrait there. Now we Ooh, have nice. This dark this is your setup. basement scene. Very nice. Extremely dark. All right, so I'm noticing on the right, blown out everywhere. Look at this, all of this is blown out. More of this is blown out here. This by far does the best in terms of that. And if you look close at the texture of the table and everywhere, you could actually see the detail and the texture. I don't even sure. know which one is which. Looks so really let's see. Good. The nothing. nothing. Oh, the nothing. The other we shots, it was too dark, but in this yeah. case, it worked out really this well This looks for really it. good. Here is a crazy lighting scene, really dark outside. Okay, this is interesting. <laughs> Each wow. one decided to handle it differently. All right, so the one on the left, it's really faded. Not much contrast, every little branch is here. And this one, every branch is over sharpened. It looks kind of messy, honestly. And the lights don't stand out. Honestly, I kind of like the one on the right because the lights kind of stand out. Even though it's a little underexposed, this is just too much going on. So right. I agree. Oh, that is iPhone. the iPhone. These ones were more similar. Yeah. Portrait shot. <laughs> All right, so this is instant fail. I have no words to say. And it's not say. a misfocus because yeah. it's not focused on the back. Yeah. Now, both of these look pretty good. However, the one in the center is really flat. I love how all the little lights kind of show off without getting overexposed like here. So I'm going with the right, and there's more detail. Pixel. You chose the Pixel, the iPhone messed up. Terrible. Somehow. Terrible. Ultra wide here. Ooh, wow. So in reality, all okay. of them were way darker than this. So okay. Each phone had to choose what it wanted to make the image be. Well, if I look closely, I can tell that these lights are blown out. I can tell that there's a lot of softness, lacking detail, kind of smudged. It's brought up too much probably. Yep. The one on the right fares pretty well, but it also, you can see some smearing and all this detail. So the one in the center has by far the best detail and not getting blown out. And it looks realistic. Yeah, so. That oh, nothing. is the nothing. Hey. It did a good job nice. here. And here we have a portrait shot, a wider one. All right, so the one on the left, it's really flat, lacking detail. The one on the right, you could see noise in your face and everywhere here for some reason. I think the most clean photo is in the center. That is oh, the, the iPhone. iPhone. So a lot of these portrait shots on the Pixel, I would have to move back. Once again, it's the only one that limits you and it crops, forces you to crop. Yeah. We have a selfie at night. Wow, this is so blue. <laughs> we had blue light from the front, warm lights yeah. from the back. Well, instantly, terrible amount of noise and artifacts here. This terrible. one gets disqualified. 
This one actually does decently well, but compared to the middle, this has the most clean detail. You can see your eyebrows, beard hairs everywhere, your coat, the center. The pixel. pixel. And we have a oh. portrait. Yeah, same issue here. So much noise that it actually changes the color. Other than that, it was really good until I saw that noise. The one on the left still has some noise. The one in the center by far does the best with having no noise at all here. A lot of sharp detail. The lights look good. The hat, the face, yeah, center. That is the 14. iPhone. Once again, the Pixel 4 is to crop. Mm -hmm. These ones I cropped after, but they still turned out way better. And we have our last video. This Ooh, is a okay. nighttime one. Lots of noise on the right. It's really hard to choose between the left and the center, but I think I'm gonna go with the left. The left iPhone is 15. the iPhone. So the nothing did quite a bit it, better it at really, night. It was, it was very so close. close. It was really close. Compared to the Pixel. And now our last shot. This is the only one that was set on a tripod okay. for astrophotography modes. <clears throat> Okay, so the one on the right, I can see a lot less detail. The one on the left is by far the best, I think. And I like how it's kind of more contrasty, brought up, brighter. That is the okay, iPhone and the nothing is a bit too dark. Now I yeah. will say the nothing for the night mode, yeah. usually it's like one second. It is crazy. Mm -hmm. The iPhone, a second, two seconds. Oh, a lot of times the second. iPhone actually took longer, which is crazy. Oh, wow. Usually it's the fastest. The Pixel, on this tripod, it uh -huh. was like two minutes. Oh, In handheld, yeah. a lot of times, it literally is like five, six seconds. It's annoying. Jeez. But the nothing phone, if I can give them one piece of advice, make the night mode take two seconds instead of one. Mm. Because they'll Too have short. a lot more uh, data to That's work with. That's why they're kind of underexposed. Yep. Yeah. So uh, there you guys go. Okay. If you guys voted, let us know what you got, how many you chose for each one. If you didn't, let us know what really surprised you or what you think of the phones. Vadim is adding that up right now. I had, Vadim didn't oh, see man. any of these. He had no input. We wanted yeah. to see how the Pixel with software updates and the nothing with software yep. updates compare. And of course the new iPhone 14 because last yep. time we tested out the 13. Mm -hmm. um, I also Ooh. have my own opinions here, but Vadim, okay. go ahead and show them. Alrighty, so for the Pixel, I had nine. For the nothing, I had three. 23 for the iPhone. Wow, that that's is a big difference. Crazy. Sheesh. So the iPhone did even better than last wow. time. Yep. And uh, the nothing was still in last yep. place. Now, a lot of the shots, it was actually pretty close. It was, yeah, it was close. That's why it was close. with my shot, I looked at all the photos. I rated them mm -hmm. one to five. Five is shocking that it's a cell phone. One is unusable. Mm -hmm. Here's what I got for the nothing phone. I got 3.3 out of five. Mm -hmm. For the iPhone, I got 3.8 out of five. Mm -hmm. And for the Pixel, I got three oh. out of five. Mm -hmm. Because um, I didn't just vote which one's the best, that's why the iPhone stole it away. Yep. A lot of the Pixel shots were noisy in yep. the night uh, or not Under detailed exposed. for portraits yeah, um, during the day. Yeah. And it has the oldest sensor. So I actually got a little bit better for the nothing than the than the actual Pixel. And none of these hit four out of five, 4.5. Mm -hmm. The flagships that I've done this with, they were like over four out of five. Yep. So here you guys go. Of course, the iPhone one, but mm -hmm. it is also $800 or eight, you yeah. know, 829 for the 5G fee they tack on yeah. compared to 350 mm -hmm. or even as low as 330 in some markets for the nothing. Huge price difference. Yeah. You guys let us know your thoughts. Click that circle above to subscribe. If you guys want to pick up one of these phones, uh, yeah. the iPhone or the nothing, check out uh, the YouTube shopping mm -hmm. feature right over there. And we will see you in the next video.